Hi guys, I'm Dan Hoff, Chief Operating Officer of Honey Stick, and today we got a real special video lined up for you, and it is going to be choosing your best wax and dab tank. Now, one of the most common questions that I get to Honey Stick with the popularity of all of our wax tanks on the website, people pairing them with their mod batteries, is what the differences are between them, what they're good for, what they're not good for, what the wattage ranges are. So by popular demand, I'm putting together this video to run through all of the tanks that people use for wax. These are sub-ohm tanks, as you can see here. Okay, so they are tank attachments. And we're going to compare the differences between them, talk about the pluses, the minuses, what they are and what they aren't good for, so that you guys, when you're shopping on www.vapehoneystick.com, you can make an informed decision. Now, before we jump in and you guys invest the time in watching this in-depth video, I want to give you guys a disclaimer that in this video, I am not going to be doing any vaping or any loading of any wax or the atomizers. You guys are gonna have to go to other channels and search around for that action. YouTube has sent us some warning letters that they don't wanna see anything on there. Otherwise, they're gonna penalize the channel. So in order to not risk that, I need to be in compliance. So if that's what you're trying to see, I hope you appreciate that we save you some time and you'll like this video anyways and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> but if you don't, or if you are one of those people who is trying to make the decision, or you are a vape nerd and you wanna learn about the technical specs and the differences between these awesome wax and dab tanks, then stick around because we're gonna jump in for you. These are arranged in order of wattage that they take to power them up. So the least amount of watts starts here with the Stinger tank, going all the way to our brand new just launched Extreme 2.0, which is the power beast over here in terms of wattage. So let's get started with the tank, the Stinger wax and dab tank. Now what's cool about this tank is it's a real easy way to get started. It's a full ceramic. The wattage range on this tank is only going to be, you want to run this thing up to only about 12 and a half watts, so it's not going to take a lot of power. But for all you wax and dabbers out there that, you know, are don't want to burn through concentrates because high watts does burn more, more rapidly, aren't really concerned about the hit size, but want really flavored focus and efficiency, this is definitely a good tank for you. It's small, it's slim, and it's sturdy. Now we're gonna open it up, give you guys a little peek as we go through some of these other features. So each one of these Stinger tanks is gonna come with the tank and the dab tool. Now, when this tank does get burnt out eventually, then you're gonna have to replace it with a new tank. We don't sell just separate coils for this tank. So that is something that you should keep in mind. And like I said, the maximum wattage that I would put into this thing is about 12 and a half, maybe 15, but realistically the, the sweet spot for this tank is between 10 and 12 watts, and you're still going to get some decent sized hits and have really nice flavor. Now these are known as a donut coil. So when you open this thing up for the first time because the gaskets are fresh, you don't want to wobble it too hard. You want to be a little bit gentle with it. You're just going to kind of wiggle it, give it a little twist and it's gonna pop off. Now we're gonna use my honey stick pen here so you can see into the chamber. As you can see as we focus in here, that this is a ceramic donut coil, which means you have a heater that is shaped like a donut made of ceramic that really provides the heat from the bottom. And all the sides, as you see, are white, are also uh, ceramic material. So all of that gets heat heated up it is a pretty efficient system, which is gonna burn through most of your concentrates. A lot of people are worried about wax and dabs and unburned concentrates getting stuck under the coils and not being utilized. With this tank, you really don't have to worry about that. One of the small downsides to a tank like this is because it uses less wattage, the bowl isn't tremendously huge. So you're not gonna fit as much wax in there. A lot of dabbers, say it's very important, they wanna pack a bowl for the day and really run around with it and not have to refill it as much. With this size tank, because it is skinnier, 
you're going to have to refill it more times. So that's something to keep in mind if that's important to you. Then maybe one of these other tanks has better suited for you. But if you're just one of those people who loads up the tank to take your dosage for a small sesh, you want a lot of flavor, don't want to put in too much power, and efficiency is your focus, then this Stinger tank could be a really good tank for you. And they're pretty sturdy and last a long time. We get really positive reviews on this, and many medical dispensaries stock this unit as their standard beginner's uh, more premium wax tank. So now let's move on to our next tank, which is going to be our hybrid tank. Now this tank we made a few years ago, and it was really revolutionary when it came out. It is a dual quartz tank. I tell people really the sweet spot for this tank is probably around 15 watts. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. It runs on what we call a hybrid platform because it has a full ceramic bowl and undercoating. However, it does have dual quartz rod heaters. So you get really good fast heat ups with the dual quartz rods. And the ceramic bowl does do a good job of containing the heat and making sure that you still run through the product pretty efficiently. So this tank actually comes apart into three parts, which is the bottom base, the top mouthpiece, and then the reservoir, and from there you can switch out the heater. So the first time you get this tank, it does come with two different reservoirs. This one is made of glass. We also have one made of plastic, for those of you guys who might be a little bit clumsy like me, have gone through a few screens on telephones and or broken a few vapes from letting them launch from up high. So you have this one that can be your roll around or if you just kind of throw around your vapes or a little bit rougher with them. This isn't going to break or shatter, no pun intended. Um, so you want to wiggle this off when you have a glass on there. Sometimes it might be a little rough, but if you just gently wiggle it side to side, it'll pop right off. And as you can see, here's the heater assembly right over here. In order to access and load the unit, what we would do is it has a top lid. Now the role of the lid here is pretty unique because what it's going to do is it's going to help take some of the splatter to keep it from being caked up onto the glass and it's going to focus the vapor into that that circular point which is lined up with the mouthpiece so you're going to have a nice route to draw out that vapor very efficiently and it's going to give you for the power inputs of only 15 watts or so it is going to give you some nice hits and the combination of the full ceramic with the quartz rods your, the flavor is still going to be on point but the heat up time is going to be a little bit faster than the Stinger tank. So you would unscrew this top lid right here. And then you're going to have the bowl. As you can see, the white ceramic that I talked about earlier is I'm going to go highlight with the pen. Now, as you will see, this bowl is about twice the size as the one on the Stinger tank. So you will be able to load up more products for the day if that is an important feature to you. Then you're going to see the clear pure quartz rods with the heating wires on them. And it is going to be <clears throat> draped with this ceramic, so you're going to have good heat ups and flavor. Now the way that you switch this coil is you just unscrew it here. You can buy a pack of them on vapehoneystick.com. And they come in three packs, so these coils are replaceable. So the tank body itself, you should... Uh, you should definitely uh, hold on to and you won't have to replace and those are pretty sturdy. Now this tank set also comes with replacement gaskets because those here can wear down over time from opening and removing the glass and cleaning and it also comes with a spare heater right out of the gate. So you don't necessarily have to buy your coils the same day you're buying your tank. If one goes out you do have a backup. And it actually has a really good dab tool that comes with a kit. I tell people this dab tool out of most of the dab tools that I've seen with vaporizers, this one is a keeper. I mean, it just seems to have the perfect shape and angle. It's a really handy tool. It's not big. It's light. You can dishwash it. It is sturdy. 
So that's just a little extra bonus that you should hold on to if you uh, pick up this tank. So now that you have the features over there, there's one more cool fact before we move on to the next tank. Now I did tell you that all of these tanks are sub-ohm and are going to require a mod battery to run, which means any type of an adjustable battery that really goes from, you know, up to at least like 20 watts and is adjustable with a minimum input of about 10 that can handle sub-ohm, which is ohms that are below one resistance level. But this tank, you can still use a stick battery as long as it has a decent amount of power, for example, our phantom carbon fiber that I have here, and power up the tank, which is actually useful. So if you only have a little battery like this, but still want big tank power, you're able to, to make it work with the hybrid tank, which these batteries won't work with any of the other tanks or a majority of the sub-ohm tanks on the market. Now, one little disclaimer is gonna be is that when you screw these things together, you know, this, the, this, this, it, this tank is wider than the battery, so you are kind of looking a little bit like an upside down bowling pin here. But if that doesn't bother you and all you care about is a vape or you're into that, then by all means, this is a good combo and will work. So just want to throw that in there if you are considering the hybrid or one of these tanks and you don't have a sub-ohm battery, then we just made your decision a lot easier. Moving right along, next up is our ozone tank. Now before I start getting a bunch of comments on this video, this is a dry herb tank. However, we market it as a dry herb tank. However, several of you guys on YouTube and a lot of our extractors and wholesale customers do use this for different waxes, shatters, cake batters, and things like that, and say that it actually does a very good job and they prefer it. So I'm going to include it within this video for you guys. So the ozone goes up to a maximum of 27 and a half watts. So I would honestly say the sweet spot for here is somewhere between 24 and 25. Now, some of the benefits to this ozone tank are that it has a very large full ceramic bowl. Now, as you remember, with full ceramic, we discussed when we were discussing the Stinger, is that in general, they have really good flavor notes. However, they aren't as fast to heat up. However, because this was designed to be a dry herb tank and take more power inputs, and be a little bit different of a bowl, this thing actually does provide pretty good heat up times as well as power. It's very efficient because the bottom of the bowl is uh, completely flat, so you're not really going to lose much wax. It's going to heat up. It has a nice clear, uh, clear uh, reservoir chamber here, so you are going to be able to see what's going on in there. Because of the dry herb, it has a nice mesh filter in between the glass body and the mouthpiece, which will catch the splatter as it comes up to prevent hot bubbles from reaching your mouth or tongue. And there's also cleanable. You can take it apart. So the first time you take it apart, and also so you would see a nice look at the bowl, you're going to want to, what I just did there is kind of just put my fingernail in between the glass and the base, just kind of wiggle it around. Get it loose and then I'm going to remove it and if we could get a real nice close-up of the bowl so you could see this right here full ceramic this is probably one of the largest bowls that you can pack up for the day because there's no quartz rods going across in there it is just sitting on a nice flat bottom now this kit also comes with replacement gaskets here Replacement little mesh piece for the mouth piece in case if you lose it. And it also comes with some wicks. Now what people do with these wicks is something called wicking to where they will soak this wick into concentrates or they will take this wick curled around like a snail coil in the bottom and then place the concentrates on top of it to preserve the concentrates 
you can decide as to whether you want to do that, but a lot of people just place the, the wax or concentrates right into the bottom of that bowl. You also have a little rubber honey stick label here that can either go over your air holes or just serve as a glass protector that'll go on the glass so in case if your mod and your battery kind of fall over on its side, might not shatter the glass. And in case if sharing is caring, you have a couple replacement mouthpieces that are made out of silicone. So if you're uh, hanging out, passing uh, your ozone around, make sure you're doing it safely, especially during uh, the pandemic. Replace the mouthpiece, don't share like that. So this is the ozone, and even though it is a dry herb tank, it does have a lot of good qualities. And it does work very well with concentrates as well, according to a lot of you guys on YouTube and some of our extractor wholesale customers. Moving right along, here's one of our best selling tanks, which is the Extreme Wax Atomizer. Now, one of the reasons that people really love this tank is because it gives you two coil options. Not only is it super discreet to where it looks like an e-liquid tank, and from the outside doesn't give you any residues to hint away at what you are really vaping. This tank comes with two different coils, a triple coil, which is a high watt wattage way to vape, and also a fully ceramic donut coil, which is gonna be flavor focused as well as efficiency focused. We're gonna briefly explain the two. Now this is also a relatively small size tank. It's really nice, high quality. The triple coil, I recommend around 25 to 30 watts for that you can run safely. Honestly, 22 watts is more than enough to heat up properly, give you a decent size hit, and also um, give you good flavor as well as not burn through the waxes or concentrates that you're using. Anything above that 25, 22 watts, you're really just kind of showing off. So. The donut coil, however, is gonna take less watts. That thing between 12 and a half and 15, similar to the Stinger, is more than enough to get that thing going. I wouldn't take it above 15 because then you're gonna be running through coils rather quickly. So let's open it up. Over here, the kit, as you can see, it comes with a stainless mouthpiece. It also comes with kind of a hard rubber plasticky, you know, resin style mouthpiece here that you can just pull and switch out if you want to. Here we have our donut coil, as you can see. Same general shape when we get in real close to where it looks like a donut made out of ceramic sitting there on the bottom. There's no holes or rods going across, so all of this, anything you see that's white in there is a good area to fill with wax. You don't want to overfill that to get anywhere near the stainless steel lip because then you run the risk of leakage over the top or splatter and possibly losing your product. So the fill area on these is going to be only where you see the white. Now the tank, as we discussed the wattage parameters before, a cool unique feature about this tank is it does have variable airflow valve here. As you have it open, you're going to let more outside air in. As you have it more closed, you're concentrating your hit to what's coming in and out of the bowl. You can really fine tune that to your personal preference. This is a magnetic adapter. So to fill it, when you have it screwed in, the base will be attached. You're just gonna kind of remove it. You see the magnet couple and decouple. You're just gonna remove it, put this over to the side. Do note, this portion here is made of glass so that can break. So be, care, be, be gentle with that, even though it's a pretty solid Pyrex style glass. Here, as you can see, you have the triple quartz coils. So they're quartz rods. You have three heating rods, as well as a ceramic outer, which is what gives us high wattage, really, really fast heat ups, and really basically inferno style vaporizer, you know, incineration when you really get up there in the wattage range. It will go through concentrates when you're running at that high wattage. So if you're looking for those monster clouds, do know that it is gonna go through those concentrates a lot faster than something like the Stinger or even the donut coil, which you run at lower wattage and is a little bit more efficient 
and a little bit more flavor focused. But if intensity is your thing, then this extreme tank should rank very highly on your scale. Next up is a really unique tank that we launched uh, not too long ago, which is the Plasma 510, which is unique in the sense that not only is it a high watt experience, but it is a non-contact coil. So when you put the concentrates into the plasma, they don't actually make contact with a coil. However, the quartz bowl is superheated to give you the purest rig-like flavorful experience. Now this thing does go up to 40 watts. Really, some people run it at 45. I recommend about 40 for this thing is good. And it heats up, it glows red, it gives you a real good vape. And let's show you the tank and talk about some of its benefits. As you can see, it does come with a large glass mouthpiece that is for that flavor-focused connoisseur. One thing I will warn you guys, if you are on the go, this is made of glass. So it is delicate. You're not going to want to break it. It has a long stem. This thing can fall over and it can break. We do sell replacements, but if you're a real on-the-go guy, I think this qualifies more as a stay-at-home tank or lightly mobile. So let's go ahead and pull it out, talk a little bit about what we got going on here. So here we got the tank, the mouthpiece, right here. Now the first time you open this, you are going to want to be gentle and grab it, kind of give it a little side-to-side, -side, a little wiggle, a little twist. See, this one's on there really tight for the first time, but that will loosen up once you get off the first time. I'm just going to wiggle it. There we go. And here we have our bowl. As you can see, we have the quartz bowl here made of pure quartz. And then at the very bottom, below the quartz, you have encapsulated between two other pieces of quartz, your heating coil, which that area is going to superheat, and it's going to heat up this whole bowl. So this thing is going to get super, super hot. And you're going to put your concentrates in there, and you can basically fill up this bowl about 80% up to the way with concentrates. And this is the most efficient tank you can get your hands on. There's no holes, there's no heating rods, no nothing. This will basically burn up 100% of your concentrates because even the concentrates that melt down to a liquid, they end up re-solidifying in here. You have your top piece that goes over there. And as you can see from the, the mouthpiece stem, it goes to the bottom part of the uh, the quartz bowl, so you're going to draw most of that vapor out. There's a very small slit to let some outside air in. And this is going to be the flavor king because it is pure quartz and your concentrates are not touching any type of a heater. So this thing, high wattage, it is going to take one or two heating cycles to really get the vapor production high on this tank. But... If you are a flavor-focused person and really into the efficiency, then this is probably the best tank that you can get your hands on. Last but not least, last week we released our uh, Extreme 2.0 tank as opposed to our Extreme 1.0. And it has a really unique coil design. The wattage range on this thing is really pretty high. Most of the people in our office run this thing in cruise control at 40 watts. So it is up there as a high wattage tank. Now what's really unique about aside from the high quality build and body where we made some improvements is it is the first of its kind to launch a dual independent heating system. Before I even show you the tank, I'm going to show you the coil. As you can see, you have a ceramic outer. It's a very large bowl. You have a nice little ledge there where you can drop your concentrates in with a dab tool. Is It has two heating rods, which are actually made of black ceramic with a real nice thick gauge titanium heating wire, so you can run temp control on there. You can also run temp control on the Extreme Original Tanks triple quartz coil because it's also titanium as long as you're in TI mode. You can drop your concentrates in there. And what's cool is that those rods will give you the fast high power heat up time. But what we did was we simultaneously put in a ceramic bottom plate heater that you can see 
in the little the little circular portion at the very bottom. So that's going to provide heat from the bottom of the tank while the quartz rods give that fast heat up so any wax that falls underneath those coils are going to get vaporized. And that's also going to help heat the sides of the ceramic more efficiently. So you are going to burn up more of your uh, more of your concentrates more efficiently with this tank. And it's also going to provide dual heating power to give you the high taste as well as the fast heat up and the intense large rips that are brought on by traditional coils. This is a really unique coil that we built the mold for. We really like it. Our in-house test team have enjoyed it. It's a very high power and the tank is equally high quality. Now this tank differs from the other one as this full tank, it's a little bit more hefty. As you can see, it is not a super lightweight, but that's because quality. This tank is built out of solid stainless steel. So this tank is a lifer. It's also like the other extreme, got a, got a variable air valve to let outside air in. It runs on, on different ball bearings and has these little ribbed edges to really give it that luxurious quality feel. So even if you get some residues around there, your hands are slippery, you're gonna be able to get this thing and adjust it the way you want. It does have a very strong magnet, so you gotta use a little strength to uh, make sure that you uh, get it uh, get it undone. You see? Whoa. <laughs> so there it is. It's not gonna just come out easily and fall over. There we go. So as you can see, you have your large bowl. The way you'd replace your heater is just simply like most tanks, just unscrewing it from the base and replace. Now this tank also comes with a nice dab tool. As you can see, this is very similar to the other dab tool that we showed you. This is a good little dab tool to keep. And these will run with your high power digitally adjustable wattage batteries. And again, because the titanium coils, you can use the temperature, uh, the temperature control as long as you're in TI mode and you'll get a pretty good accurate reading and adjustment. With any of those dab tanks, our professional dab tool set, definitely a really good value and can come in handy with anything that you're doing to handle the wax, dabs, and concentrates. So make sure you guys also check this out. Now with all these tanks that we went over today, I know it was a lot of material and I definitely appreciate you guys for hanging around and getting to learn about the tanks that you wanted to. I hope that this advice was useful. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the online team put together a special discounted bundle so that you can have all the tanks because we notice a lot of people adding tanks you know, they start off with one and before you know it, they have the whole, coll whole collection. So we're going to put together a nice discounted bundle and make sure that you guys, if you guys want to just grab the whole collection, that you get it at an amazing price. So guys, thank you for following up, for tuning in. We hope this video was educational and we really hope that this helps you out with making your wax and dab tank decision. We hope that you guys got some of these features out of these uh, these units so you can determine what's the best wax and dab tank for you. Make sure to follow us on www.vapehoneystick.com, which is our website. We got some really cool stuff there. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at official vape honey stick as well as vape honey stick. Make sure to like us on Facebook for other cool special promos. And if you guys are wax tank dabbing, Make sure that you're out there and you're doing it responsibly. Thanks so much for tuning in and cheers till next time.